Alright guys, this is kind of a tough podcast to have to do. Obviously by now everybody knows, uh, unless you've been living under a rock, that the ultimate warrior has passed away. Uh, James Bryan Helwig, a.k.a. Warrior, was born in 1959, passed away April 8th, 2014. Um, go ahead and read the uh, the transcript. Fi- he the the warrior was finally inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame the night before WrestleMania this year and uh that ended a near two decade almost 20 years 10 to 20 years or so of just him being on the outs with WWE uh horrible reputation within the company um Nobody really had anything nice to say about the man, and he really didn't have a whole lot nice to say back about men and superstars and people within WWE. Um, he's always been considered a legend within amongst wrestling wrestling fans, and uh, there's no denying the legacy that the Warrior has had and that the Warrior, you know, built. Uh, whether it was from his WWF days or his WCW days, um, everybody remembers the whole Hogan Ultimate Warrior feud storyline in WCW when Hogan was Hollywood Hogan in the in the NWO um, and did the whole you know I'm terrified of the Warrior thing. Um, everyone's always wanted to see the Ultimate Warrior inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame because he he deserves it. One of the most influential and most well-known, recognizable characters in WWE history, if not all of wrestling history. And it's always been a shame that he wasn't in the Hall of Fame, regardless of what his relationship with WWE was. But finally, after many, 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 many years of being on the outs and problems between him and WWE. Uh, WWE finally buried the hatchet with the Ultimate Warrior and inducted him. And uh, three days later, he's now dead, which is just shocking. It's shocking anybody who's a wrestling fan. It's devastating and heartbreaking. And I don't know about anybody else, but I don't... It's it's hard to believe that it's real and that it's true. Um he uh, he gave his speech at the Hall of Fame, and then uh, the night after WrestleMania, he was on Raw again for the first time in God knows how long, and the, uh, the speech he gave, the promo he cut on Raw, almost haunting. Um, no WWE talent becomes a legend on their own. Every man's heart one day beats its final beat. His lungs breathe a final breath. And if what the man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others and makes them bleed deeper in something larger than life, then his essence, his spirit, will be immortalized by the storytellers, by the loyalty, by the memory of those who honor him and make the make the running the man make the running the man did live forever. You, 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 you you are the legend makers of Ultimate Warrior. In the back I see many potential legends. Some of them some of them with warrior spirits, and you will do the same for them. You will decide if they live with the passion and intensity. So much so that you will tell your stories and you will make them legends as well. Ultimate. You are the ultimate warrior fans, and the ult and the spirit of the ultimate warrior will run forever. It's just haunting to go back and read that and to go back and watch the video of the Ultimate Warrior's final speech on Raw. Um, They said that uh, he was perfectly fine, perfectly healthy um, Tuesday morning. Um, Didn't seem like anything was wrong. Um, Then leaving the hotel that he was staying at for WrestleMania, uh, leaving that on Tuesday, he was walking out the out to his car in the parking lot with his wife, clutched his chest, and collapsed. It was at the the Ganey Suites Hotel in Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, that he was staying at at the time. And um, They're calling it a catastrophic medical event. And so far, there's no evidence of drugs or alcohol playing a factor in his death. An investigation is underway. The Maricopa County Medical Examiner and will be con- and will be conducting an autopsy on Thursday tomorrow. Um, so hopefully tomorrow we we will know 
what the real cause was. Uh, according to sources, backstage of the Hall of Fame ceremony on Saturday, Warrior was he was friendly when he was approached. He, he was also quiet and somewhat reserved. But he's always been that way. He's always been a loner, which is why he was mistaken as an asshole all the time. Um, a lot of people said that Warrior was sweating a lot and appear, he appeared physically frail. Um... Some superstars have said that they've never seen him look as weak as he did. Um, so, I mean, did he know that the end was coming? Or was this all of this just a big coincidence and just eerie? Um, again, it's just... Words can't even describe how shocking it is. He's 54 years old. Seemed perfectly healthy. Seemed perfectly happy. Um... And then I don't know where the man's dead. Um, most likely a heart attack stemming from some steroid use back in the 80s and 90s when he was in the ring catching up with him. Um, but still, uh, we can add the Ultimate Warrior. Unfortunately, add the Ultimate Warrior to the long list of wrestling superstars that have been taken from us well before their time. Um well, way, way, way too many to list and name. Um, everyone from Mr. Perfect Kurt Hennig to Chris Benoit to Eddie Guerrero to the Von Erichs to, you know, the list goes on and on. Um, sound off in the comments and uh, what are some of your favorite Ultimate Warrior moments? Maybe it's the WrestleMania 6 match against Hogan. Maybe it's his WCW days. Maybe it's his match against Savage. Um, I just watched the body bag match against The Undertaker from 91 earlier. Um, you know, sound off. Let me know what you think of all of this and share your Ultimate Warrior memories. And, uh, all together, let's make the uh, thank God for the WWE Network because now the Ultimate Warrior can live on forever. But let's all make let's all make his legacy live on forever as well. Sound off, and uh, what are your memories?